Hi, Tom Cole here with TPS Influencers in a special segment we call TPS on the Move, and I am here with a rock star TPS, <laughs> Dr. Durant. Doc, <laughs> such an honor to be with you. Uh, I can't believe that this is true, but 10 years has gone by, <laughs> you as the rock star superintendent, 75 years for TPS in general, kind of Put this together for me, Doc. What is your 10, if you can take the 10 years, you've had so many successes. Yeah. You've overcome so many mountains. Right. Uh, kind of put this in perspective for me. You know what, uh, <clears throat> today, it, you know, when we talk about the transformation of TPS, and so when you speak about it, uh, you know, we have really changed the opportunities in essence of what students can go in to do. And so it's more than just a career tech program that you'll see at the skill centers, but we have added additional schools to focus on career highlights that allow kids to be able to get certifications, college credit, no cost appearance. And at the end of the day, their high employability in this area is aligned to the school. So we don't create schools that kids can't get employed here in this region. And the whole goal is to educate you here, uh, to work here, to ultimately live here. And so that's what it's all about. And so uh, we've just been excited that anybody who comes back to the city of Toledo and says, wow, I had no idea of all these schools that you guys have created and had really transformed the district that our students have more than just one option in their neighborhood, but they have options throughout this district focused on a career in particular. You know, it's so interesting to me, Doc. <laughs> you and I have been around a while, right? right? And you have, what you have done here, and I'll give you just a personal example. Uh, my wife Karen always says to me, I've said this to you before, yeah. and she, you know, she doesn't really, she didn't work at TPS, she doesn't know TPS. She is inspired by you. She's a big believer in the community. Yep. She is inspired by you uh, that you have stayed here. Yep. You know, a lot of people stay for a while and they go away. That you have stayed here and made this commitment to this community. What drives you to make this commitment? Well, you know what, uh, being born and raised here in the city of Toledo, grew up on the east side, graduated of Wade High School. You know, at the end of the day, there's been many who have, have invested in me that the reciprocity of investing back into them. You know, the main thing is every parent wants their child to have more than what they yes. have. They have better opportunities and uh, accessibilities. And so my whole mindset of approaching as superintendent, that I want these students to have more opportunities than what I've had. And you know, even when I came and I was in school, the only op option was your traditional school or Macumber, and Macumber was closed during my 10 years of coming in through high school. And so at the end of the day, <clears throat> we created multiple schools sim similar to a Macumber, but focuses more on one specific career opportunity opposed to a variety. Doc, this Glass City Convention Center is unbelievable. <laughs> and really, what they've done <clears throat> with this place is remarkable. And I, I just went home and I, I just said, I, again, I said to my wife, I said, my gosh, the opportunities that are opening up for kids. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking when I went to school, nobody talked about careers. Nobody said, hey, you might want to do this or you might look, you just fell into something, yeah. you know, good or bad, you know. Right. This is just kind of mind blowing, Doc, that I watch these kids going from station to station yeah. and saying, hey, maybe I want to be a fireman. Maybe I want to work for Columbia Gas. Maybe I want to do this at UT and get college credit for it. This has to inspire you to yeah. see all these kids. <clears throat> you know, and that's just it, is that we have 37 career tech programs in our big six traditional high schools. And then we have our five to six magnet high schools. And so the main thing is what we're doing is getting kids to start having conversations about what their interests are in the fifth grade. So we call it next step saying, Mom and Dad, we're assessing all the students with Naviance, which is a career builder yeah. tool that allows kids to get associated with their strengths as well as those career opportunities that align to their strengths. We take that Naviance report and align it to the career program that we have in the district. So when they come, this is the next step. They come and see the career program in a whole uh, setting. Then they'll go, the next step is we will present this to the parents at uh, parent-teacher conference so they'll know the Naviance, so the conversation not only in school but it's happening in the home about an interest and a child's choices. And then after that, they will visit the program so they can either go to the schools of a traditional school and visit it or spend an entire day shadowing at a magnet school. But at some point come January, they're going to declare a major right. either in sixth grade or in, in eighth grade that they plan on going on and pursue throughout high school, but they can change their major at any time. Doc, I know you're proud of this. I, I read this the other day, I believe, 
that your magnet schools are rated uh, one, two in the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. Talk to that. You know what, uh, the NIST report had ranked uh, our magnet schools as the number one and number two. Twitter Early College is number one. Twitter Technology Academy of Engineering is number two in the state of Ohio. And we have two more that are going to be up for ranking next year. We believe that uh, our Aerospace Natural Science Academy will fall in third or second. And then our pre-med, if they allow them to rank next year or the following year, may even potentially be number one or even two. So what we want to do is at the end of the day, in 10, 2025, we will have potentially 10 magnet high schools. We want to lead the state with all 10 of them being the highest ranking within this area. At the end of the day, you know, my thing is that I said 10 years from now, 15 years from now, I want people to come back and say, how did you guys create these opportunities? In my community and in my area, right. all we have is a traditional high school. But you, you have an aerospace, you have a natural science, you have a business, you have a pre-med, you have an early college, you have a per performing art. And all these are unique schools for themselves. Again, it's not for everyone, but it is for someone. And if you're that engineering child, this school is for you. Or vice versa. And if you don't want to go to a magnet school, you can go to a traditional high school and do the career programs there. So I may not get into the Toledo Technology Academy of Engineering, but I could do engineering at Start, or yes. I could do it at Bowser. Right. There's more than one way to achieve certification as well as college credit and those outcomes. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I've learned a couple of things hanging around, and one of them is about leadership. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, all my interactions with TPS mm -hmm. teachers, coaches, staff, they are enjoying what they're doing. Yeah. I've always found with leadership, uh, when someone leads and they're encouraging, they're positive, it's a, a, a pro-friendly environment, not some, you know, person, you know, on your back 24-7, not somebody trusting you what you yeah. do, looking over your shoulder. Yeah. You've created this environment, and I've found that's when people thrive, when they know they're appreciated yeah. and, they, and you let them do their job. And is that something you've learned about leadership? You know what? Uh, definitely born and raised on the east side. Uh, we always have a saying that there's no free ride on the east side. Everyone who's become something built something. Yeah. And so... You know, we never take for granted the relationships that we built along the way, as well as take for granted all the individuals who are Le LeBron James or what they do. Whether you're a custodial operator, you have the best floors and the nicest places. If you're the bus driver, you are the best bus yeah, driver in the 100%. game. Man. And at the end of the day, when you have these people who are excited as well as produce in the way that they have, it brings about great excitement and culture. And, and when they're recognized, there's an appreciation for that. And I always tell people at the end of the day, I would never undervalue and underappreciate all the other auxiliary positions because those individuals are our primary ambassadors when it comes to embracing a child. I mean, it's not the, always the principal and the teacher, the superintendent. Right. It's that bus driver who picks the kid up. 100%. The very first person. And when they get to the school, it's not the principal and the teacher they see. It's that food service worker who's giving 100%. breakfast to the kid. Yeah. And then it's the hall monitor and, and all the other individuals that really make this thing go. And uh, so I'm just ex excited and happy to work in a team, amongst a team that uh, really cares about kids. You know, my mom taught me a long time ago, and, it, and uh, it's something that you do every day, and I think it's such a great quality, is all the folks, aforementioned folks, you just talked about in the school structure, you treat them all that they are number one. You know, yeah. I, you know, sometimes you're around people that, well, this person has power and influence, so I'm going to be really nice to that person. Right. You, know, you treat them all like they're number one. And, and I think when you do that, you create an esprit de corps that is truly a team, and that's what you've done. You know, and, and at the end of the day, you know, it's a small token for all that they do. Yeah. You know, just to be recognized for that, that second, recognized for that, that moment, yeah. as a small token of appreciation uh, was saying it that, you know, at the end of the day, uh, they're in the trenches grinding it out yep. and going through the good, the bad, the ugly. But at the end of the day, they always come out with a smile on their face and show yep. back the next day. And it's those things that kids appreciate the most because they'll remember this experience, they'll remember the experiences that were in the classrooms or yep. all the encounters that they've had. And at the end of the day, it makes a huge difference in regards to saving the lives of children. But more important, the reciprocity of what kids bring back into ourselves. Uh, the smile from one to another, as well as, as you see, in regards to the kids wanting to brace each other and brace yeah. me or whatever, that energy is contagious about being constructive and positive amongst each other that at the men, end of the day, it carries over into their adult lives at some point. Doc, I saw you taking more pictures out here than, <laughs> uh, than Patrick Mahomes, okay? You, you are, you know, and it's so great that the kids look up to you as a role model and, and you, 
you give back to them that vibe of you can achieve, you can be what you yeah. want to be. We're providing things for yeah. you, and, and there's nothing more important than that. Well, and, that, and that's what I tell parents and, and just community members. At the end of the day, you are a celebrity to somebody. You are the LeBron James that, Doc? to somebody. I kind of like that. <laughs> right. You are a celebrity to somebody. Right, and at the end of the day, you are the, you are the star in somebody's eyes. Yes. And at the end of the day, everything that you do say, they are embracing and taking yeah. on. And so um, that's kind of in essence meaning that many times when the kids come up, I always make sure that they get that moment and that time in essence uh, because at the end of the day, you know, that's what we're here for. I'm here for you just as much as you're here for me. But, you know, just like to tell parents, never underestimate the power of your presence yes. because you truly are, whether it's your kids, the neighborhood, the athletic team that you coach, whatever it is, yes. you are the star in someone's eyes. Yes. And so live up to that expectation just as they perceive you because at the end of the day, you're pouring into them that they're going to pour into others. Doc, here's to another 10 years. Yes, sir. And keep yes, sir. doing what you're doing. I don't know how you have the energy to do right. it. You know, you're getting about two hours of sleep at night, well, but you're doing it. Much it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you. Appreciation. Tom Cole for TPS Influencers and TPS on the move.